a lot. <laughs> Tim had a bus. Yeah, Tim did a bus. He did not like it, of course. I was going to say, that doesn't sound like him. <laughs> no. Yeah. You can't park the bus at like the Four Seasons, you know? Yeah. So we had to stay like at airport hotels. And he was like, well, this was a waste of money. Yeah. I thought it'd be good, but it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Maybe it's good, though. It's bad. It is bad. It's good. It's real bad. <laughs> close- bad. I'm firing these people. <laughs> <laughs> Being close to Tim rules. Tim's like <laughs> fucking bad shit. Dude. It's awesome. He's dude. wild. He's the best. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> he really is. But yeah, I was really cranking it off hard in that bus because I was like, this I is cranked cool. it off once. Everybody was out. Everybody was out doing something. I was like, I'm sleeping in. Yeah, got one off. Oh yeah, into a sock. I had to keep the sock in the. In the bed, yeah. Yeah, what do you and then the I mattress? tucked it into my shamefully threw it in my luggage. And yeah, threw it that out. Sucks, dude. Yeah. When you put that sock I'm keep in the that luggage, sock, dude, I'm not gonna lose a sock on this. <laughs> yeah, then you go to True. your laundry and it's like stuck to your sweatshirt, yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah. Indianapolis. Yes, hello. That was when I masturbated shamefully on a bus. I was whacking yeah, once on that bus, and I heard Tim answer a phone call, and I was like, do I finish? Is he yelling at something? Of course I did. Yes. Yeah, but it, it was it was not easy. That was like alpha level training. It yeah. is. Mm-hmm. Hear Tim scream on the phone with somebody. Yeah, you got to not laugh and whack off through it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fun though, just jerking off in just like a cube. Jerking off at it seventy miles. Really nice. Hour? It was really yeah. nice. Land speed him, I'm telling you, I'm good for catching him on a flight in the bathroom. Something happens. Wow. That's girl. that is truly insane, dude. It's oh. like it's two seconds. There's some dude. I've been on planes, and I'll, you're right near the sewer. Dude, they have lotion. <laughs> They have lotion on some planes. Do they really? Yes. <laughs> it's you scope it. They have hand lotion what? in the bathroom on first class on Delta. Well, really? Yes. They're asking for it. it's a you know. I was in there. I was like, this is for real. This is for guys to. You have to sometimes jizz on the plane. If something happens. You hit high altitude. If you're like, if you have a, too many of them saved up, and you go up in the sky like that, you go like, God damn. I do wake up incredibly hard on airplanes. Yeah, I, I'll have boners. I'll have boners for entire flights. Yeah. Like, dude, dude, it's a, a pressurization thing. Just hard for 15 hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I flew to Tokyo, I had, I'd masturbated on a plane Crying for the first to, time. It's great. It, Crying to a fucking great. Marvel movie. <laughs> it was necessary. <laughs> it, was, it was a must. Wait, you masturbated on the way to China? On To Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah. I had to get it out because I was hard for like seven hours. Yeah, My wife's like, asleep. Yeah. Like, I don't know why it. that mattered if she was going like, to blanket actually no. blow me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's lucky she wasn't awake or she would have caught that bullet. In an airport yeah. or in an airplane seat. There's no, I don't think anybody could reach my penis. Well, in the, <laughs> we went Polaris <laughs> over <I'm> there. Sitting, <laughs> yeah, my knees are against the seat. There's yeah. no way you can get your head in there. It's like a gated community. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Well, you know, this is the worst angle for dick. Yeah. Right that would be here. funny though to be like, because that, that if you were like spooned up with your wife, and they, you, you would just put it on the, you know, fucking stewardess. And be like, sir, are you, you'd be like, I'm not inside my wife right now. What are yeah. you talking about? Yeah. How dare you? How dare you insinuate that How? I'm inside my you wife? Just call my wife a slut. I'm, yeah. We're spooning. Wait, did you call her a slut? <laughs> <laughs> did you uh, say it again? Are you a slut, babe? That, you're right, though. That leaning forward is. It's a terrible. I position. don't have a penis when that happens. You ever have sex with a girl that wants to do that position where oh, you're sitting up, up and she's yeah. yeah, and she like you pull up, you're like, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> this isn't working. This, this isn't gonna is work. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> One time, this my wife wanted me to do it on like a sitting in a chair, like a stool, and I was like, why on a stool? Yeah, yeah, it's a setup. Yeah. I can't even sit on a stool. No, I hate stools. I'm I'm not built for any high top chairs. Dude, high top chairs are disastrous. Uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. High top tables. Why'd they do that? Girls like it, dude. Why girls like lording girls over. Love high top shit. It yeah. Makes no, they walk on mimosa. fucking sticks mm-hmm. and then they sit in. They're ridiculous. It's they're like, let's sit in chairs where our feet can't touch the ground at all. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna step off of those on and balance myself on a popsicle yeah. stick. <laughs> all my tippy toes. I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I'm gonna drink and fall. Yeah. How much is it to get in this place? A hundred dollars. That sounds reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> Can I have two hundred dollars well, to get into this place. <laughs> doesn't matter. It's not. It's, it's not my money. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand money. <laughs> it's the circus, dude. Twenty four seven. Already planning expensive brunch yeah. for the next morning. It's just. It's that was one sound. thing. That was one thing. Biden and Trudeau were bragging about. They're like both of us for the first time ever have half of our cabinets with women. I was watching it like. Yeah. That's why the 
Chinese or something. Everybody's switching to that currency. <laughs> like, America's going to have no idea what money is in about fucking five years. <laughs> America blew $3 like, trillion dollars on Edison light bulbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they, when asked them, when the secretary was asked, said, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. I got stuffed at the airline by a fucking fat black lady. Oh, yeah, with the oh, bag? I got met no, no, at the no, line no. of scrimmage, dude. I got leveled. <laughs> you got Gilbert Green. I got fucking, it was Clowny versus Michigan. I got fucking, <laughs> as soon as I tried to ask a question, it was fucking, dude. So they lost my luggage oh. in, was, in, in Wisconsin. And, well, it was, it was the easy, I saw it coming a mile away. Yeah. I flew from Harrisburg to Milwaukee. When I, the Harrisburg flight got delayed, landed in Chicago. I flew from Chicago to Milwaukee, which is a one hour drive. Yeah. Kind of annoyed me. It's yeah, flight. Uh, it's kind of a chill drive. That'd be nice. But the flight was delayed. Yeah, it would have been very nice. March the flight canceled. was delayed. I had to fucking switch airlines in Chicago. American switched me to United or whatever. Yeah. Uh, as soon as they did that, I was like, "There's no way you guys are getting my luggage." I was like, "Are you?" I told the lady when she did it. I was like, "Are you sure you're gonna get my luggage onto the other plane?" She was like, "Yes." Get of course, land in Milwaukee. The bag's not there. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to the United desk. It was a, it was the black lady. She was like, your problem's with American. So I went over to American. It was an Asian man who worked his hardest, <laughs> worked his fucking hardest to help. And then he was like, but you can check with that lady. Now that you have the bag number, you can go ask her again. And I walked over and I was like, excuse me. And she was like, I told you your problem was with American. Oh, like, oh my God. Yeah. dude. Just fourth stuck and one. Me. Just <laughs> left it at that. Me. <laughs> what? You just left it at that? Yeah, I was like, well, I lost. You guys lost my luggage. Could you? I didn't even say it. I was like, oh, okay, 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 yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And there was no line. She was literally just sitting there. Oh my god. There was no one around. She's I wasn't like, you. yeah. I had the opposite yeah. situation so when I came back from Paris. They lost my luggage, and it was gone for three days. And then I was in Detroit, and I was flying out. And I went up to the lady on my flight out of Detroit, and I said, I know you're buried in here, but. Is there any chance you got this? And she was like, Ooh, honey, follow me. And yeah. she like she like ran me down to some like terminal and my bag was coming down. And she was like, Is that you? And I was like, Yes, it is. And then we did the hand hug. And then she did a little like worm thing on the way out. Oh. It was a big deal for me. Yeah, there yeah. is that she version. Was like, it feels also. good to help. You can get that version. Yeah. <sighs> Cause I she's like, I haven't been able to help anyone for a long time, but I helped you. <laughs> there is certainly that version. Yeah. Yeah. I've been I mad with good. that version as well, Damn. but man, when they hit, when they decide to hit course. stick, mm -hmm. there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. yeah. When they dig in, <laughs> you're getting just <laughs> fucking crushed. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> they actually brought the luggage to my hotel room that day. They did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, pretty yeah. nice. Uh, it is nice. I didn't know they did that. I was saying, I, I was like, there's a good chance we'll get it. I had to go buy outfits. Yeah, that's Dude, fun, though. <laughs> outfit was sick. It's not fun. It is, because I get to go to the DXL and just be like, here's my card. Treat me. I, it's my glow up. I can't buy anything. What? Why? I don't know. I, we talked about it last week. I, I got a fucked up thing. And then, of course, this happened. Yeah. My exact nightmare. I had you, to buy a full outfit. That's how things work, dude. Dude, I bought Vans. The outfit was sick. The Vans. outfit was insane. The outfit was sick, dude. The outfit was, I just grabbed whatever I could. You went to Zoomies. I went to five different <laughs> stores. <laughs> zoomies? I Something essentially like went zoomies. to a Zoomies. <laughs> Beach Sea Surfing I went sport. to like, I was, well, it was either that, in, in walking distance was like an untuck it. <laughs> <laughs> which I went into and tried. Two women were there helping as hard as they could, and That's they kept the bringing me like beige sweaters. I was trying them on for them. I was like, I don't know if this is gonna, I don't know if this is gonna work. Looks like big body best. Oh, it was tough. And then I went. I finally I, I, I went to the so Zoomies. <laughs> I bought pants, Vans, and a Vans T-shirt. Jesus, nasty. Dude. The, the Vans shirt, shirt was shirt a ruled. skeleton, like a Grim Reaper in front of a clock, and it was like, it's revenge time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You wear that on stage? No, I thank God the fucking luggage got there. I thought it said it's strange times. No, it said it said revenge time across the top. And what a time the bottom to be alive. it said what a time to be alive. That's what it was. Damn, Which I actually dude. didn't mind, because what a time to be alive. Not only Drake, but I was watching, uh, was watching best sports calls of all time mm. on the airplane. Mm -hmm. Got me emotional. Yeah, it was very fun. And one of them was a home run. And a guy goes, "What a time to be yeah. alive!" <laughs> was the, I bet the band was on the field. The, the band, band is on, on the field. field. Yeah, that was Tiger Woods, that. Chip. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, a lot no of way. horse, a lot of horse racing calls, which oh, are great. That's weird. <laughs> he runs for history. Yeah, it's great. When you were in Toronto, awesome. did you link up with a certain person? Jersey Drake. Yeah. No. Okay. I was, I was so close. 
Yeah, I know. And I was so close to maybe getting an invite from someone that didn't happen. Do you think I would invite you to hang out with Drake? No, I think Chris O'Connor would, though, because I was talking to Chris. Chris o- you are scum, dude. Just saying. <laughs> go through me. Don't go- dude, I tried. <laughs> you scum. And then, and then I get no response. Maybe I was doing a show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I made time. I was also doing a show. Doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> I didn't bother you while you were doing a show. I'm not I didn't a girl. bother you either. I said all my stuff. friends in town. Can, I, can cool. we hang out? Can I come to the Drake party? I didn't ask that. That's girl stuff. I said, hey, Shane, what are you doing, buddy? Maybe we could chillax. We're up in the same city. Oh, you're going to go to the records? Uh, yeah. Wow. I think I'm definitely can you believe wrong. this? <laughs> I think it's going to be like six unanswered. Yeah, it probably will from you. Mm-mm. Go to the tape. When was it? Oh, wow. So how many other people You didn't even ask me. I didn't ask to go to Drake. I would never. You go to Drake? Connor was like, hey, we might be meeting up with Drake. And I was like, that would be cool to be invited. Do let me know. You didn't ask me anything about hanging out. I did too. No, you didn't. What's going on? Are you staying in Toronto tonight? I said, tomorrow. Okay, excellent. I'm at the Royal Comedy Theater. It's bleak. Then the next day he texted. Easy. (laughs) (laughs) We we don't have to editorialize things. The owner here is a fucking... (laughs) The owner here is a retard. (laughs) Hey, you got enough openers on the first show? I said, too many. I got three. I I wish you would have asked yesterday. Uh, oh, and then what I say? And there. then you said I felt bad about asking. Then I was like, if I don't ask, maybe you'll think I'm a dick and don't like him. I've been mm-hmm. fighting a private war in my mind about it. Yes. You understand? I do like you, and I hope you have very good shows. I said I totally understand. What a nice text to receive. I totally understand. Someone. I like you too. I think you're very funny. You said I knew you would. You're the man. I have to do this fucking midnight show now. So not sure I'll see you at all. And then you said, hey, I'll make time. No, that was. Oh, it. you didn't say that. The next text was a picture of you and Adam Egget when you were in Austin. Oh yeah, you did not ask. Otherwise, I would have said yes. Definitely come hang. We were just at a so. bar. I don't think so. Absolutely, I would have said, <laughs> "Come hang out. We're at a bar." Real loggerheads here. No, we're not. That was the. That was it. We have no proof. <laughs> anyway, easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm at this comedy club. It sucks. Everybody here sucks. That. My openers suck. I didn't say that. The openers were quite nice. But no, we were close because because Drewski was in town. Who's Drewski? He's a comedian. Yeah, Ooh, that the is Drewski? friends with Drake. Whoa. He was in town, and I knew I could, I could finagle my way into there. Mm-hmm. I said, "What if I can get to Drewski's show?" Yeah, if you I know Jersey in. Drake's gonna be there. Yeah. Sure enough, Drake. They were like, "Yeah, you can come over." And then Drake showed up, and they're like, "Ah, we're pretty busy." I was like, "Fuck!" It's the orgy. It was the orgy. <laughs> it was the orgy. I <laughs> sat there in days in, just like, <laughs> <laughs> "We're not gonna hang out with Drake again." <laughs> O'Connor posted a photo of a, like a cool, like uh, upstairs ballroom area, and it looked like it might be Drake in the photo. And then he took it down pretty quick, and I was like, "If they're hanging out with Drake right now, and I didn't get the invite, I'm gonna be." really wounded let me tell you okay when it happens yeah i'm not inviting anyone okay <laughs> i'm going that to... makes me feel better <laughs> no one's invited <laughs> yeah it's just you and him one-on-one i'm gonna it's just gonna be me and him laughing and having fun i'm yeah. gonna go dude i listen yeah. to you every day he's gonna be like that's so sick you listen to me all the time <laughs> you guys on go-karts it's gonna be so just a fun. montage of best friends in the batting dude, cage it's gonna be unbelievable how much drake definitely likes me he's tying oh, a tie yeah. from behind <laughs> <for you. laughs> No, I'm gonna go up and try to shake his hand and get pushed by like five security guards. I don't know. What if he's a fan of yours? He's not. You don't know that. He could be a Shaniac. Guys, Drake's not a Shaniac. He might be a Shaniac. He's not a Shaniac. Shaniac. Could be. He's a Drewski head, dude. (laughs) Wow. If you're a Drewski head, you're also a Shaniac by default. True. Yeah. Who's gonna step up and take his place? He was like King Alpha. Drake? Yeah, Drake was like the king of the culture. He was king of like modern pop culture for a while. Yeah. It's forever. It's, it's for sure for a while. For longer than anybody. Tunchi was ahead of him, dude. Yes. Tunchi was him and like Nicki Minaj. Tunchi brought a lady with a humongous ass. Yeah. Yes. And then Lazarus. Tunchi brought Nicki Minaj and Lazarus Drake. Drake from the wheelchair. Yes. Rise, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, yeah. he came and they were at the top of everything. And then Drake became the top of everything. And now who's yeah. going to hit the top? Rise. <laughs> Someone, someone's going to hit the top. Who's going to be? There's young there's young dudes doing it now, but I'm too old for them. Yeah. they all, I hate them all. True. You know? Lemaire, who's number one right now? Rapper? Yeah. Or who's like a young, cool guy that's going to take Drake's? Oh, I don't know. There's oh, no one. I think it's Playboy Cardi, actually. It can't be. I think that's the guy. So you guys are going to start dressing like vampires? Yeah. <laughs> 
Doesn't Doesn't he, is he, he a vampire, vampire guy? guy? No, I'm thinking, is he a vampire guy, Playboy Cardi? Kind of is the red hair. Like, he's kind of white. Right? Yeah. I'd like Michael. Michael it sounds like the culture is slowly shifting. <laughs> yeah. It's an Ouroboros. Yeah. And we're the mouth this time. <laughs> no. He's so scared. That's the guy? It can't be him. I, I think. Why is he so scary? Look, man, I think your view, might, your, your, your vote might be a little bit skewed. <laughs> that's the guy, huh? Look, man, you're just predicting anime black guys are taking over. No, that's the guy that all anime the kids... black guys are kind of taking over. That's so sick. His head is triangular. Is a little Uzi Vert's got to be. Uh, yeah, he's a well. He's it has an to be some of the guy. girls like too, because girls love Drake. True, they do love Drake. Has to unite the especially you talking about like when he got all jacked and grow a beard too. That was so fucking. Oh, sick. I loved when he did so that. Sick. I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Drake's so fucking cool. I would do that too. I would think I'd think about doing it all the time. Yeah, get you, you get grow get my jacked, shitty grow, goatee. Just <laughs> look Arab. <laughs> just become a jacked Arab man. I want to wear those flowing white gowns that Arab. You guys can do wear. it. You go to Dubai. You can wear it. I know. I want to wear it here. You could. You could do that too. I don't think so. No, man. it looks ridiculous on ample men. I know people I've would be mad it. at me. I've seen white dudes do it in West Philly. There's this white guy who went full Muslim. Was he big? Was he's he pretty big bro, yeah. If you're fat, it looks insane. It's nah, so it looks silly. sick. You look fucking nice. No, you look no, it looks gigantic. It, yeah, Man, like billows even out. Better. Yeah. Stature, dude. You look like a lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Your stature increases. Yes. We should uh, yeah, switch to the patch. Where are we at? Hour 34? Oh, I like it. Sam, you're so good. My man. You're so funny. I love you guys. You're the I'm best. I'm looking forward to this. Sorry I bothered you guys so much. I just have to schedule Please, and stuff. dude. No. Hey, you can I say something? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I have a podcast called Chubby Behemoth, which I've oh, never yeah. plugged anywhere because I'm the worst at it. But listen to that if you enjoy this kind of humor. Yep. And also, Philadelphia, I will be at the Helium Comedy Club on April 19th. Ooh, and uh, That'll sell out. I you hope so. Hurry up. Yeah, yeah. Get on that, guys. Yeah. Uh, all my dates are at samtalents.com. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, Stress Factory, please. New Brunswick this weekend. Please, fun, man. Just fucking yes. get out there. New Brunswick, New Jersey, get the fuck out there. Man. I added a bunch of shows yesterday. Oh, you Dude, did? Dude, when you post that, and then the next one is they're all sold out, I get fired up on your behalf. It makes me very happy. Dude, I love to see someone awesome. funny win. It makes me very happy. Thank yeah. you, Sam. Oh, dude. Because you see all these people post dates, and then the next thing they post, it's like it's sold out, and it's like, I would bury your ass. Yeah. You don't want to follow me. Yeah, it's nice when someone good gets in. Uh oh, update from uh, LeMay. Yeah. If you're if you're in Boston, oh, April seventh and eighth, I'm gonna be at Hideout Comedy. Please come nice. check me out, dude. Yep, Denver Comedy Works April thirteenth, Houston, Lafayette. And you come gotta check in. out Guard Dog's new pod. Yeah, dude, it's all the rage. The super ultimate audio visual experience. Suave. I like that name a lot, dude. Yeah, Thanks. It's, so yeah. nice. it's very postmodern. Yeah, I like to. It, it sounds is, like a translation yeah. of like a Japanese game show <laughs> into English. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's Goodbye. it. We'll Patreon. see you on the Patreon. Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> he got sad about the horse. He got really sad when he saw a horse being beaten, and then he had a total mental breakdown, and he. His sister had to clean the shit from his body. Damn. <laughs> until he was dead. Damn, he really, the Ubermensch was destroyed. Yeah, he was not the Ubermensch. Yeah. That's crazy. He just fucking completely lost his mind about, I guess that was the thing that, that was a straw that broke the yeah. balls, man. Yeah. Damn. I, I could think I could, I'm better than each other. Some people think <laughs> he had, I, could, I won't go crazy if I see that. I win. He might have had <laughs> yeah. syphilis. He might have had syphilis. Yeah, but true. I think it was a mental problem. True. Yeah, he, he was. He, I think he was thinking too much. <laughs> thinking too damn much. <laughs> Relax, nature. <laughs> Put your feet up. Go for a walk. <laughs> it's just a horse. A poor horse. Yeah, it is pretty brutal. I'd be sad. Just beating the horse up. Was the guy like? I'd you, go it was acceptable to like kind of whip your horse a little back then. This I think it was a particularly nasty horse the fight. Fuck out yeah, it must really. It's also horse. crazy to try to beat up a horse. Yeah, they're, yeah they could take terrified of horses. Yeah. Yikes! Horses are scary. Damn, that's... the horse videos are. I think you should keep sharing them. Oh, that did I? <laughs> yeah. have no choice. That's all my. The sexy feet horse is sick, right? There, there was one I didn't share because I want this off my algorithm. But there's a male ballerina. <laughs> what, <laughs> I was going to send it to you. Dance I was with like, a horse? Oh no! I just this video came to me recently down the feed where it's just a male ballerina 
and like dancing, doing serious ballet, but he just yeah. has a fucking huge bowl. Oh yeah, you got the cut piece. <laughs> yeah, the was, algorithm figured like, out you like muscular is, thumbs. Yeah, <laughs> and I instantly was like, I flicked it up real quick. I was like, dude, they're gonna. If I, flick it, <laughs> if I share this to Shane, I'll get more oh, gay yeah. stuff. This, and I was like, I stumbled. There's a new one now. That's. I think I might have sent to you this. I got into this the little gay boy doing Lady Gaga. Oh, oh something yeah. went wrong. It might be. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's one. Everyone better be jumping. <laughs> Come on, monsters. Oh, little monsters. Come on. Yeah, I'm pissed. I was uh So that's not good. I shared that to so many people. I think my algorithm is gonna be fun. gay little boys. I was getting caught up. There was this one guy who's like jacked and has a beard and he's always like but oh, it's always guy? like looking for a submissive lady. Oh, yeah. on. So I got caught into like female thirst yeah. traps. With and like they contacts hit me with, in with like light blue eyes. Yes. Like, yeah. He's always like, yeah, how about I fucking carve my name? And how about we back? take you on vacation? But here's the deal. I fucking punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> yeah, no, that's every video. Yeah. Every video. <laughs> and then I, I did that and they were like, you like that? And like, here's a fucking hung ballerina. And I was like, oh, God damn it. That's not funny. <laughs> yeah. I almost sent it to you. And I was like, I got yeah. to cut, cut the head off the snake. You right can't now. send gay stuff because it'll you'll be inundated. Yeah. So now it's just beautiful horses, birds. Beautiful horses is awesome. Beautiful horses is tight. That's all I get. I was telling it not to show me beautiful uh, women and their breasts. And I spent a long time going, like, hide this. I'm not interested. And then I started getting uh, convert to Islam videos. Ooh. Nice. Of people going, like, the you know, flies on uncovered meat women into. <laughs> I just figured that I wasn't interested in that. Yeah. So it went over there. <laughs> This guy they knew you were struggling. If you're hiding the big titted women, they know they're like, this is a struggle. Yeah, yes. I'm not just ignoring He's susceptible it. to. We can uh, radicalize this guy. Yeah. But some of those Muslims are very convincing. Yeah. I think Islam is going to be a fun third chapter for me. That'd be cool. Get my big beard and my. Yeah, that'd be good. The Cat Stevens. Yeah, he was never the same when he came back, though. The music wasn't. He re recorded some of the early albums. No, it wasn't good, actually. Wasn't I, I was listening to some new Cat Stevens recently, actually. I was just, uh, Yusef Islam. <laughs> But the early Cat Stevens is great. Do so you have a name you would go with? As a Muslim? Yeah. Freddie Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> I would name myself Cat Stevens. Yeah. Cat Stevens Islam. <laughs> Cat Stevens Islam. I would name myself the Tiller Man. You just you gotta just go Osama bin Laden. True. You might as well. You I'd like, no, you know what? That's I'd like be, our Jesus. Is. Yeah. I want to be James X. James X? I'm not having my Irish Yeah. Repressed name. Oh, you're going to be English like a Malcolm name? X kind of thing. I, I mean, I love Malcolm X. You're going a little Nas X type of. <laughs> oh, that's why he's doing. I never thought about yeah. that. Yep. Little Nas X. Who had the bit about him being the gayest man? Chappelle. Chappelle. That, was, that was very strong. That was a very funny joke. Yeah. yeah, I got to see. I haven't seen his new thing. It's great. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped on that. It's fun to watch. Making fun of little Nas X. Is My favorite part of the, the thing is he put this special out. And there's obviously there's backlash of people being like transphobic, fuck him. Mm -hmm. This special sucks. And then the end of the special is him being like, "What's the song in that?" I'm the man. I'm, I'm the, the man. man. I'm, I'm the man. man. It's like him in arenas. Like, oh, yeah, that's so sick, dude. It's very funny. That's awesome. The people have spoken, dude. The people have spoken. The Cherry yeah. Chappelle. They said, "No, he rules." Yeah. They try. I don't, what were they planning on doing to him anyway? Mm, they fucking protested outside of Netflix. They're like, take. Yeah, I remember that. We're not doing it. Take it off Dude. Netflix. And the Netflix guy was like, "No, we're, we need it." Yeah, we, we like to. Going to help us. The Netflix good. guy and the Spotify yeah. guy are the only two. I mean, they really. No one knows their names, but I think they turned the tide. Yeah, they help. Handedly. Well, apparently now they're coming out and saying, "Have you seen like the uh, the George Floyd documentary? The new one? There's a newer heard, one that came out, and apparently it's it. like damning of the whole situation." Glenn, uh, what's his name? Glenn Lowry and John McWhorter were like, yo, it's all bullshit. And they, they came out. And they were like, you know, those guys, they write for like the New York Times yeah. and shit. And they were yeah. like, no one's going to do anything about it because no one wants to deal with it. But it was like com the whole thing's complete fucking bullshit. Damn. There's new yeah. body cam footage and all this stuff. That I really like, don't think I need to see this. You don't. Don't watch it. <laughs> you don't watch it. I but don't need to see this it, at all. Like, from what I've heard. And, all, you know, Glenn Lowry, I think he's like a. That's he's, like he's like a chip your tooth on the bottle. Be careful now. Uh, he thought it was that burger. You had a mirage. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Glenn Lowry, is a, I, I would say he's a very critical thinker. He's a fucking man. The, I fucking love him so yeah. much. But dude, he, uh, they're both like, yeah, we, no one's, no one's going to touch this. It's, it's like, 
The guy got he got stabbed in prison. The fu- it's bullshit Dude, charges. Anytime they let him out of solitary, he gets fucking stabbed immediately. Dude, his mom apparently apparently allegedly had a manual for policing that showed the exact maneuver he was doing, which is knee on shoulder. And she was, and the police guy went on records like that's not part of our thing. She was like, I have the thing. Oh like, man, yeah. The guy they were they were also saying the city itself would have been leveled if he didn't go to jail. So they said it was kind of just like a political, a nationally political thing. And then at a local level, the local government was like, fuck this, dude. Yeah. I'm not taking the heat for this. And they just fucking roofed him. So <laughs> they did roof him. Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, he got roofed. You put him under the jail, dude. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is the guy dead? <laughs> yeah. How long you been here for? Ever. <laughs> <laughs> and a Mexican guy stabbed him like 20 times. But he'll get out. I think he'll get out. Trump will pardon him. Trump better not. Trump will pardon him. Dude, what? I'm telling you, Evie Lowry and McWhorter are like, bro, we. I watched, I watched the Candace Owen one. I watched the Candace Owen one. And There's that, one that's even. I know, I know, more I know. I know. They're saying this one's. Yeah. Even, yeah. The granddaddy the of Candace all. Candace Owen one's got me and Kanye. Yeah, he got hit by it. <laughs> yeah. so hard. You were dude. right. You said that, that. Every one of his talking points was just from the Candace Owen. Oh, he stabilized them. Yeah, that's a tough doc, dude. Yeah, it's true. Stay away from it, dude. Don't watch the full body cam footage because you're gonna <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna say the wrong thing at the bar. <laughs> that was their prediction. They're like, this will just float into the back of people's awareness, and people will just be like, whatever, man. I'm not. Yeah, I'm. That's exactly what it is. I know. I'll be a coward. Yeah, I'll be like, I. I've I feel done. uncomfortable talking about it. I'm on a temporary visa. They <laughs> They're gonna get you out of here. Questioning the narrative. True. So yeah, I no support question. the narrative, and he's a bad man. True. Well, yeah, yeah, he did kind of, you know, put a knee on the throat of a guy who was on fence. Shoulder, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Depends on which angle you're at. Because yeah. the Candace Owen one shows the shoulder, yeah. where his knee's on the shoulder. But then, and then they show it on the neck. I think he inched his way up to the neck there for a little while. Yeah. It, was, it seems unmistakable that that thing was on the... They did hit him with older brother logic, because he was like, I can't breathe. And like, if you can talk, you can breathe. <laughs> Which is undeniable older brother yeah. logic. Well, if you could talk, you could breathe. Seriously, guys, I can't fucking breathe. Yeah. Love you guys. And he thought, yeah, that was the best. A kid would score a touchdown. Everybody would jump on him. He'd, he'd go from like, yeah, and like, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> seriously, get the fuck off. <laughs> guys, I'm the fucking kid. But yeah, time will tell. I'm, I, you know, I don't know. Only time will tell. I wasn't there. You know, I wasn't there holding a the cell phone, recording the whole thing. So I, I, don't, I, I don't know. But I'm going to not watch that. No, but yeah, that was. I thought that was interesting. Especially, Maybe you want to watch it later. Especially fucking Lowry, bro. Lowry Mc, McWhorter too is even more. He's a you know, pretty liberal dude, and he had to come and say like, Glenn, well, I was wrong. I watched the video and we were sold a lie. I was like, damn, go off, Kings. <laughs> Maybe they was. <laughs> Maybe they was. <laughs> But yeah, either way, I don't, right. I don't want to admire the. <laughs> right. I don't want to admire the podcast controversy, but that was like no. I, I just thought think, that was crazy. I, I don't mean, think it's too much controversy. We're just kidding around, dude. We're, we're kidding, and we're you know. You know we're just I'm saying, kidding. hey, here's the thing. You know, I don't. I, mean, fucking, I don't. I don't. There's a documentary <laughs> that we haven't seen that apparently people are talking about. Exactly. I don't know. I just share it on my fucking. I'm going to share it on my Twitter. It. I mean, you're going to share the Amazon <laughs> link <laughs> and get kicked off the nets. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, wrong place, wrong time. That is a weird, if that's part of like police protocol, that's crazy. Knee on the neck? Yeah, if that's like a, an ancient technique of just fucking, like, I, mean, how does it, I don't see how that even works though. Yeah, I feel like you can, you can squirm out of a knee on the that's neck. What, yeah, that's, that's kind of my thing. It's like, yeah, you, you think it'd be I like I think there MMA. was another guy holding down some legs. True. I could oh, be wrong. Okay. I think it'd be the MMA straddle. That would be like, with like some great ones. Yeah. Full mount. Yeah, full mount. Yeah. Because a knee, a knee on, like, I could, I could, I'm not bragging, but if someone put a knee on me, on my neck or my shoulder, I'd get right out of that. <laughs> like, for real, dude. I would. <laughs> I know. It's just, this is like the fucking Mark Wahlberg if I was on Flight 93 or fucking. It's like, Did he say If I was that? George Floyd, I would have flipped right out of that fucking thing, dude. So I don't know what the big deal is. <laughs> it's, it's the funniest thing to try to take credit for. Try to, I would have got out of that. Go ahead, try. Try I had one Chinese guy holding my ankles and a Try fucking fat thing. white guy kneeling on my neck. Just die right away. <laughs> just, oh. Would you like to knee on my back and I'll try and get out? No. All right. I don't want that being captured. <laughs> on I'll be in jail. Though. Yeah, we don't want that. I want to get arrested. <laughs> anyway, how we doing over there? Ooh. That was a fun episode, man. Ooh. 
I went quiet at the end. I was out of my depth. No, nah, you were, dude. You might have made the right call. Yeah. Might have been a good career move there. I, I'll just, I'll be sitting here quietly supporting <laughs> and people will go. I, I was just questioning the agreeing. fact that there's new, there's you, been a new, I'm, I'm a fan of the legal system. So if there's a new hey, me too, evidence, brother. I'm going, well, we should check the evidence out. And we can all say, oh, that's bullshit. Of course. Or we could say, what the hell? Well, they never update Whatever happens, happens. The Hunter Biden <laughs> yeah, stuff never gets updated. The, the laptop, COVID stuff yeah. never gets updated. And the flight the logs come out are coming out. Don't go back flight and logs are coming it. out too, right before the Today? election. Today? So that's, that was definitely the Republican op. Are they? That's going to be so fucking funny. Did that dude lose his show, by the way? Pat McAfee? No. Okay. I thought I thought I read something saying that they took it off. Why? He, he wasn't was on the, the fucking plane. Aaron Rodgers was on there saying that. Jimmy no. Kimmel was on the Flay they, Logs on the show. They bring Aaron Rodgers on every week. I know. And they literally, they make uh, AJ Hawk's birthday is January 6th. Uh-huh. Every time they're like, oh, AJ Hawk's favorite day. <laughs> like, yeah. Those guys are funny. <laughs> they're hilarious. But yeah, I was reading there was a big controversy. It might just be all new stuff. Sure it is. Swear I think, God, I nobody's think doing fighting too well. about anything. Yeah. Because it's like everything, you read these things and you're like, dude. Who is actually furious We're about gearing up, accusing though. Jimmy Kimmel about being on the Epstein's flight log? Anyone who gets accused of being on flight logs, it is funny. And if you get mad about it, it's the wrong move. You got to be like, yeah, dude, I've been on the flight logs all the time, dude. I Honestly, it. how emba- th- Trump needs to come out with this. How embarrassing is it that Biden was not invited? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> the girls, they didn't like him. Every they other wouldn't per- have him on the Every island. other Bro, powerful person. Biden was invited. wasn't invited because he was there, dude. He was he already lived. there. He was he probably coming all the that girls island, dude. <laughs> he swam there. He was that horny. <laughs> he fucking swam down. <laughs> he probably was in a parachute, dude. What's that game? What uh Fuck. The game in the beginning, uh, I can't think of I'm ruining it right Hold now. Hold on, I think I got it. What are you oh, going with? Uh, what, Skyrim? Fortnite. He's probably oh, yeah. Fort- oh, yeah. he was like a Fortnite character. Yeah, he Fortnite immediately. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's very funny that he was never invited. Yeah, he wasn't cool enough. He's staying outside the club. You can't even get in. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't even get in. What a fucking loser. That's not who you want in power. No, dude. You don't want a guy who's... Not even cool enough to go on the flight. He did have his own thing going though, because he's like, you can't come I mean, to little he, girl he parties. Was, he, he was, was like, I got mine at home, baby. Yeah, <laughs> I shower with my fucking granddaughter, <laughs> so we're good. It traumatized her. It's in her diary. You can look it up. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that'll be fun. We're, we're in for an absolute shitstorm in the next. Yeah, so we're many gearing months. up. We're James, ready. you're gonna witness just James. collective. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to. You're it. Gonna oh, love it. dude. I'd like to go to some of the debates. Collective so psychosis. It's gonna be fun. Diners, but. Although I feel like people I wish are I could just tired now, though, dude. People are tired. Yeah, like it was a fever with like Trump and all that stuff, and now it's just kind of like whatever, man. Oh, yeah, Trump they get it. Man. They get it to where they find one thing with every person where they like they can't let that one go. Yeah, you know what I mean. True. Yeah. Like they found like grabbing by the pussy. Some people would never get over that. Yeah, and they're stuck to it. They just they keep throwing shit against the wall, and eventually it does hit everybody. Yeah, you find the one thing that you're like. That's bullshit. You should have got vaccinated. My fucking my yeah. fucking uncle's friend died. Yeah, true. I'll Didn't, never forget this. You know. He just moves on in the rally though. Like he'll come out and he'll go, and I invented the vaccine. Isn't that good? And people are very subdued and goes, Well, I'm gonna build the wall. And then <laughs> yeah. it just comes right back up a second later. Yeah, he he I think he's gonna have to back off the vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. Because he he tested that one out. I think he tested it out at a rally in Alabama. People are fucking got hit with the boo birds. But first, they pivoted immediately boot. back. No one held it against him. I mean, compared to the guy that really enforced it. Yeah. Which is with the, the current administration. Yes. Trump dog wasn't really enforcing it. Yeah, they tried to they tried to probably they probably paid Trump to make it look cool for like right wingers. Of like the Nazis did all kinds of needles and shit, dude. Guys, <laughs> we, let's just do that shit. Fuck it. <laughs> well, We've done it. We did it, brothers. We James, did it. thank James, you so much. I'm so happy best. you're here, man. Thank you. I'm worried about several of the things I've said, but I've nah. had a nice time. I've Fuck had a it. nice time. I don't care. We were just fine. kidding around. All jokes. We could display one of those tickers. Like, this is all satire. <laughs> so, thank, honestly, thank I know. You very I much. Yeah. Sit, like, this is all satire. Nothing is real. Sit. I've had, um, this has been a beautiful couple of days. That will yeah. stay as long as you want. Well, my family's coming very soon. And Don't I won't move my family into your house. No, no, they can't be here. So you guys was the mayor's already comes, spreading the next take time off i'm gonna get to, to meet them at the pittsburgh airport and then we'll figure out yeah. what happens with their life yeah they're having a great time classic classic tale of america sure just chasing the american dream 
I'm going to The glove open a movie. Souvenir shop. Do they have that here with immigrants? That's one of the we make our immigrants work in little souvenir shops. Oh yeah, yeah, funny I'd like that to do that. On. Have yeah. a restaurant and make the children clean it at night. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's Be a stern American. shopkeeper. You get a laundromat. You should just start oh, speaking I, Chinese. I'd love work. a laundromat. Yeah, you could get a laundromat. I've often oh. thought about opening a laundromat. Have your kids walk around like, what does she do? Come on, there's been trouble. I think that's what I got censored off last time was I started doing a Chinese voice. And- no, I was, no speaking, was, I was speaking Chinese. That was, yeah. He's accurate. Yeah. What, well, what, what does that mean? I do not speak Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the fa- apparently you have to do the, if you try and speak Chinese normally, they don't understand it. But if you go, if you do like a fake Chinese voice, then they go, yes, that's how we... Uh, makes you, sense yeah, you, hit, like, you gotta hit the inflections yeah, yeah. But if i was like well boo hey if you're like uh, julai lama hi they go what is that but if you go julai lama hi they go, yeah yes a lot of interesting. i think it's about your your mother's uh, it's a beautiful language general. that's yeah, a real yeah. that's a real sentence yeah it's a beautiful language same with no it's not <laughs> it's some of the worst <laughs> opera imaginable it's the least musical we're trying to stop i'll stop talking about chinese opera thank you if you could cut a little earlier thank you for watching the podcast yeah. Oh, they, really? Yeah, they're tiny. They're not as big as Jurassic Park for you to see. Yeah, they might have just been chickens. They could have been big ass chickens, bro. You find a chicken from that long ago, obviously it's going to look like a skinny little weird thing that bites yeah. you. And then look yeah. at the T Rex arm. The T Rex arm is like on this. it. Yeah, fuck yeah. off, dude. True. Yeah, that's, there's some people close. say there's no, like, the fact with the way they present dinosaurs to us is a complete fiction. We have no idea what they yeah. look like. They said actually, like, Jurassic Park set off, like, the modeling, and people, and, like, scientists were like, yeah, that's, that's exactly mm-hmm. what it looked like. Damn. Well, considering how wrong they are about like the pyramids and stuff, it's totally believable to me. They fucked up dinosaurs. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Fuck those guys who, for like the last couple hundred years, got to be like, yeah, this is my job. I'm an expert in dinosaurs. Yeah. Just no. Wait, what do you no mean they're wrong about the pyramids? Uh, they don't know shit about them. Oh yeah, they don't know anything. The Egyptians about. didn't build them; they found them. Yeah. They're like nice. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. They like found them. And they predated the Egyptians. They did, and they found them. Like, Man, I don't want to. Not to be, I'd rather talk about armored core than this right now. Not to be divisive, but did the Jews claim they built the pyramids? Because that's a massive lie. That'd be crazy. That's a massive lie. They're they like, well, they, yeah, they do. They the said Jews that they were the slaves that, the, that yeah, built the Jews it, said so. they were the slaves that built them. But then they're saying they were found. That's this is tricky. This is tricky. Territory. No, but they do predate the Egyptians. All like that, right all the it. cool Egyptian shit when the Egyptians. Like it was there before they sprang up, and then they got there and they started like kind of like carving their own shit on it. Like, no, dude, this was us the whole time. Yeah, you see that eye? That's mm-hmm. that's yeah. us. We were big eye dudes. Damn. That's why they said. Because remember, at first they said it was like a group of Egyptians from like five thousand years ago that built them. Then they said that that group found it from the group of Egyptians from like twelve to fifteen thousand years ago. And then they said that, that group of Egyptians might have found it from another civilization before that one. So that's why I was like so, they just don't know who built them then. If you, you go, don't know. If There's you go no to, fucking you don't know. If you're a, a scientist and you go to Egypt to study this stuff, you kind of have to like serve at the altar of the Egyptologists. And it's just like local scientists only. We'll let you know what we find pretty much. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're punishers over there. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. trying to get the truth? What if what if you're wearing like a bull whip? You have like a bull whip and a hat, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just a fighting yeah. chance. That's just a fighting chance, dude. There's nothing official about that. What if there's like one you? What if like you're fighting a guy like near like a propeller plane? You like fight him in the last second, push him into the fucking mm-hmm. propeller. Matt, let me. Let they me, still deny you access, then. I'm not sure. <laughs> You chop a guy up on a on a dusty runway. Dude, I thought Indiana Jones was so fucking cool when I was little. Still is. <clears throat> yeah, true. Matt, dude, let me let me gauge let me gauge your depth on this. How many mummies have they found in the pyramid? I don't know anything about it, honestly. No, dude, not I, a single mummy. I hate to break it to you, dude. Is that from the Raiders looting? Wait, it Wait, really? No, there's no tombs in the pyramid. What? So that's the great, a lie. The great pyramid. That's a lie, dude. That's a lie. What? I, I hate to be the one. The only shit I saw the mummy. It's fucking tombs in there, bro. I saw the movie, dog. It's true. Brendan Fraser don't lie, bro. That's a fair point. I they, tell don't you know that fucking, right now. they don't know fucking shit about what's going on in most of the inside of the pyramid. And you're telling me that you guys what? have had constant ownership of it since it was built? That's you know crazy. everything else about it, but like we have to deploy sonar inside of it to see where our like rooms are. Well, I thought those dudes went in there and they got cursed. Remember yeah, the they first did guys that. in there got cursed? Isn't from that exactly King. what you would want to tell people if you wanted to keep them out? <laughs> from King Tut, they said yeah. they, got, they got cursed after they took them out. Yeah, that dude wasn't even in the pyramid. What? The Bro. Hope Diamond wasn't that in the pyramid? 
I don't know. I don't think so. I oh. think that was at the bottom of the ocean. But that had, a curse. that had a curse on it. True. Everybody that owned it died. The Hope Diamond? Yeah. And I thought it, I thought it was huge. Like, I thought it was like fucking... You thought like Rush Hour? It's still like, like this is a tiny little thing. Still. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I thought it was like a fucking balder. You would think. Why is it so special? Because it's from the fucking mummies, dude. But you're telling me the mummies weren't even in there. Mummies yeah. weren't even in the pyramids. I think the bro. pyramids got raided. That was the thing. That was everything yeah. they said. Like the pyramid. Well, yeah, true. Did they actually? How, how convenient, dude. The only real curse is the Madden curse. <laughs> All other curses are made up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Madden True. curse. Actually, it's EA Sports curse. All the UFC guys on the covers get fucked. Damn. Damn. That's the only real curse. Mummies and shit, that's all fake. True. Damn. There you have it. Yo, you might be right. Yeah, thank you guys. I believe you. Yeah, I believe you right away. You thanks might be right. Having, you know what? I, thanks for having my back on this. The one. only thing I've ever gotten into with the pyramids, there's a book I was listening to on Audible like years ago, dude. When I was like, I was working for my dad doing demolition, I'd, I'd put headphones in and they would just dump trash out. And have to like pick up the scraps and like separate wood from metal from stone. Mm. And I was listening to a book about how the pyramids are actually like, uh, like spiral frequency healing centers. And I remember my uncle would constantly be like, "Get your fucking headphones out of your ear." And I'm like, "Dude, I'm listening to something." <laughs> <laughs> I was like throwing bricks into cans. They like, moved the stones yeah. with sound. Dude, shut the fuck up! I'm trying to seriously. I'm trying to learn about this, dude. Yeah, like you just you get in them. Like the the way they're built would just like take light from stars and spiral them and they're actually like high what? frequency healing centers i remember my uncle was just on my fucking ass dude i was like dude shut the fuck up i'm listening to this i'm learning that right now that's crazy do they let people go in there like if you go to egypt i think you i do think you have it, to have like a guy i think you gotta blow yeah i think you gotta dick. blow a fucking guy yeah you gotta blow a bouncer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lots of people's archaeologists are in there buddy <laughs> yo but yeah they have they have like i so i was reading another thing where a guy said like and he was kind of brat no it was a uh this was a book about fuck who was the other guy were you the one telling me that these prominent scientists are all kind of pussy hounds? Yes. Like Huberman. And- oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, those guys get pussy. I mean, Huberman. But if you had the pussy. top hey, of your yeah, class. Jacked. No, I was talking. What I was telling you was, damn it. What the fuck? What, the guy was, I think he got in trouble for like fucking a student or something. But mm-hmm. Hubes is probably a pussy. I would imagine Hubes is a pussy. Yo, guy. if you if you had the top of your class in anything, you're going to get pussy, bro. Yeah. If you're the best scientist. And you want a lot of pussy, you will get a lot of pussy. Oh, I was talking. No, I what I was talking about. Now I remember. I was talking about when he went on Rogan and was saying that scientists, the scientists who were on Epstein's island, didn't care about the pussy there. And he was going, scientists, what are just they're not like a real scientist doesn't care about like getting pussy. And that's when I went, what dude? Yeah, what? Okay. what did your friend do at Epstein's yeah, island? Right. Why would you even say that? Yeah, it's like you might be yeah. the most susceptible. Yeah. Yeah. Scientists are the most susceptible yeah. to getting yeah. pussy on an island. They're not getting top class pussy on an island, bro. They're not used to that type of life. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if you go there, yeah, you, yeah they're been, definitely going to do it. So you've been like fucking just jiggling around particles for 40 years, dude. <laughs> jiggling around particles. Everyone's like, dude, I don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. Please Damn. get the fuck away from me. And like a hot babe comes up to you. And just, I mean, obviously, you know, these are the older babes. It's <laughs> pure. <laughs> but yeah, that was a crazy thing. Now if you're thing. on Epstein Island, ain't older babe. <laughs> I'd like to think he had everything, something for everybody. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went on and was like, yeah, like a scientist. We don't like care about that kind of stuff. Like a real right. scientist. Wouldn't care about He's that. They just want the funding. That. It's like, dude, why are you talking about this? You should just be like, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> yeah, right. That's <laughs> I, don't care. I, don't know. I don't know anything why about this. Why are you shit? touching on this? <laughs> He's crazy. Was so yeah, he doing do that it. thing where you touch the desk with all five fingers like real scientists? <laughs> <laughs> we, we're we not. That's that's not what we're about. <laughs> 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 Sixteen year old girls. At, no, 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 no. You, we're talking you, about you look Hadron at why these scientists go to places. <laughs> they go to places like Cape. They go to Epstein Island. They go Ew. and you think how much and that's not where we're at. Like science saves people's lives, by the way. I don't really yeah. talk about fucking yeah. young girls. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, these are the most convincing <laughs> figures, bro. Bam. If you talk to anybody it's like, they do it, you go, you're like, okay. Dude. You go, scientists are focused on their research, a little bit of grant raising, and then the last one's the furthest one away from you. Yeah. Not fucking kids. <laughs> yeah, that's over there. <laughs> bro. <laughs> no, that's, he's a, that's, he's a, right. that's, that's a hand your like, lawyer do when he telling you the, the uh-huh. amount of time that you got to take. Yeah. Now, listen, I know you don't want to print at all. <laughs> but this is all I could do for I'm you. Saying, you got to at least do these two years. I'm saying we take, we take the five up front. <laughs> 
we we try to plea we try to get that knocked down we don't get that we take uh obviously life yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's exactly how you it's, so these are your options dude just yeah. like you do this or or this over here mm-hmm yeah, that's the most honest guys. They touch the table with all five oh, fingertips. Dude, sure. That's so true. Now you complete. And the guilty. bad thing is, <laughs> and the bad thing's far away from them. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Put that See? over here. Yeah. Damn. So just keep an eye out. Yeah, that. that's exactly. I remember watching that. Just I was like, just sitting there just washing my dishes, being like, "What the fuck is this guy saying?" And then the thing that sealed the deal for me, he was like, I mean, he's like, dude, I mean, scientists are like comedians, Joe, we're not schmoozers. I was like, comedians are the biggest schmoozers we're in the yeah, world. Yeah, probably right, the worst the ones. <laughs> yeah, probably the biggest. <laughs> Yeah, that one. That, all I'm saying again, I don't know anything about the man. I just went. He hit my sus radar. I went. Something's up. Something could, could potentially be up. Ooh. That's all. Something could yeah. be up. Something could be up with any of us. Who you knows? Start making Epstein. I, I, I just went like because the Epstein came up. He goes, "I'm glad you brought that up." And he just was like, "Bah!" And I was like, "Bro, what? real quick, while I have you here, what did Bill Nye do, dude? <laughs> what <laughs> did Bill Nye do at Epstein's <laughs> island? He's a pussy hound. I have heard. Oh, for sure. I already know he fucked Logan scientist. Paul's girlfriend. What? He really? Loved, he fucked Logan Paul's fiance. Didn't you see that? He fucked Logan are you following? No, are you guys you're... following Dylan Dennis and Logan Paul? No. So Logan is the younger brother, old, right? Uh, older, the bigger older. one, the yeah. one who actually boxed. the wrestler one. No, Jake's the one that's been boxing more. Okay. Logan's okay, yeah. been doing WWE. Okay. And he's yeah. supposed to be boxing Dylan Dennis. Do you know who Dylan Dennis is? Mm-hmm. He's like he was. He made a name for himself as like Conor McGregor's butt buddy. Okay. He was kind of like following him around. He was a jujitsu expert, mm-hmm. but he's also kind of a disgraced jujitsu expert. I don't know mm-hmm. if you know what about happened. That. He separated from like one of the most prestigious schools, Marcelo Garcia. Wait, it was I think it was Marcelo. Why? Something like that, or Henzo Gracie, or something like that. Because uh, he's such a bad boy. Oh, uh, mm. he's like he's he's kind of making an attempt at being like the Nate Diaz of the grappling world. But the problem is that like he's just like he, he says someone's nuts in his face. He's like. <laughs> it's nuts there's there's shit to, dude it's a sport dominated by autistic guys and he tried to introduce like wigger bravado and it just absolutely did not yeah, work, he's work a clown. Yeah. and uh so he's boxing logan paul and he's trying to like you know get it done i've seen his tweets he's saying crazy shit he's just been posting nothing but pictures of logan paul's fiance with all of her like the dudes she's fucked what? and it's a lot and it's, it's all, a lot it's all high profile guys how does he know? Is he like she's like an influencer or yeah. something? Oh man! But it's you like everyone shit up. Yeah, anybody yeah, everyone yeah, knows about your girl. Knows. Yeah, and he's just it's constant. So she's hot, bro. If I was looking for, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. I would. Yeah. Just, so she's like that. She's like true top level conventional hot. Got you. Know? you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, Bill Nye was one of the guys that she was in a picture with, like arms around the waist. That's I'd take that. I'd be like, wait, Bill Nye fucked you. I'd be like, all right. The easy way out of anything is. Yo, you only gotta say so. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, yo, your girl's a whore. Yeah, I honestly. You know that? Yeah, true. So what? They got, I don't give a fuck. And these people true. are all cannibal hedonists, so I don't think any of them actually care about this stuff. I don't stuff. think, I was about to say, yeah. yeah it's there's just, no way like, he dude. cares. But because it's in the public, that makes people care. And the, But yeah. then in the public, what you gotta do is be like, so I don't give a fuck. All these bitches whores, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. it. What are you saying? Who cares? It is yeah, less it's, about it's less embarrassing for Logan Paul and more just like, whoa, that guy fell for it too. Nuts. Yeah. yeah. Like Brad Pitt was in a picture with her. They go on James. They, yeah. Everybody go. fought, bro, but everybody. I mean, that's fought, Dick Mount Rushmore. It's all there's it. Mount. You're just like, yeah, one of the greats, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm up there. But that makes you less great of a man. I'm happy to just but be in the if, if you fall for if, that, if track, you and Brad Pitt are Eskimo bros, nah, I mean that's cool, right? It's path of greatness. But I'm saying the greatest man is above all of that, bro. for sure. You see what I'm saying? No, the, the greatest man. How do? You, who's that then? Shit, that no motherfucker pussy? never existed. <laughs> that motherfucker, <laughs> there's no man that can resist hot pussy, bro. That You're, motherfucker never existed. You're such an idealist, dude. That we can't even. This is there, cl- impossible. Person, You're talking about an impossible guy. I am talking about an impossible guy. You're that's only doing this to diminish Logan. That's Paul. exactly what I'm saying. But he's, yeah, I wonder what his real, I wonder if he actually is mad about that or he's like, this is perfect. This I is, can't imagine. This is caring. the buzz we were talking about for this paper. Yeah, true. Event. He yeah. probably just wants to be his brother. I think he wants to fuck his brother, if I'm being honest. I don't want to put fuck <laughs> You think all these guys want to fuck their brother? I, I think so. Yo, I think, I think, and I also think it's weird when two brothers get famous together. Dude, yeah, I don't like it. Is it. Weird. They should, ulti- I've, I don't know if That's I said this before, ride. they should ultimate surrender. The two Paul brothers should have an ultimate surrender pay-per-view where they sexually fight each other. Yes. <laughs> Where it's like, do you ever see Ultimate Surrender, the porn? What the fuck is that? No. Yeah. It's, it's like the shit where like men and women wrestle and like touch each other's Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. 
Yeah, and they grunt and they go, ah! Yeah. And, and they got baby oil. Hand on stuff. butt, hand on butthole. Yeah. Hand mm-hmm. on butthole. Uh, do you do you go on Reddit anymore? Mm. So most of the posts on the uh it's funny you brought this up, most of the posts on the Matt and Shane Reddit are saying that you and Billy are, are gonna have sex. Yo, what the fuck? That's a good sign. Damn, yeah, man, that's what that I'm saying. A good sign. Like you guys are yeah, that, yeah, that means you shooting up, bro. That's perfect. Damn. Billy would fucking dominate. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to sedu- I'd have to seduce him. I'd have to like <laughs> I'd have to pacify him. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have yeah, to yeah. pacify him. I'd have to really like wine and dine him. Get him a little scared somehow with something. And then I'd have to slide in like, nah, it's okay, baby. Come here. Yeah. You'd have him in a false if, sense of comfort. If we were in sexual combat, I'd be And then you'd turn up on him, over, dude. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker's intense, bro. Yeah. yeah you'd be taking it easy the first couple rounds. <laughs> and then just out of nowhere. I'd have to take a lot of damage and tire him out, dude. I mean, that's <laughs> the risky run, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, how about Lee George Foreman, yeah. bro? Just oh, fucking lean, man. bro. Just keep leaning. <laughs> yeah, that would be. He'd have you on the ropes, but yeah. you know, you, you'd be trying to avoid most of the brunt of it. That'd be so humiliating. And then once dude. he gets tired, <laughs> you hold him down and penetrate him. God, yeah, true. Yeah. I'd just crank him off. I'd be so tired by then. I'd probably only be able to crank him Damn. off. Damn. Yeah. No, I was. I, I made that up. It just made me laugh that <laughs> I said that. I said I don't want to see brothers succeed, and then I thought about you guys right now. I was like, you're a dickhead, dude. You're such a fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you talk? It, well, it is funny for them both to be because, dude, they're like. I watched the interview with. Um, I instantly forgot the the boxer Paul, Jake Paul, boxer Paul. Yeah. He was kind of talking shit on Logan because lo- they were like, "Well, didn't Logan try to take the Diaz fight?" And he was like, "Yeah, he did try to take it from me." It is getting weird and, between. And, and them. Goes, there's, there's, there's multiple videos of them arguing, just straight yeah. up like they're like sitting in like this room, basically interviewing each other, I guess. And they're like, uh, they just it's just a straight up brother argument. It's weird, but it's but it's a brother argument that's all about business. Well, well, you told me I couldn't come into this venue if I had this shirt on. Because yeah, well, he showed up to company. his this wrestling outfit, dude. I don't yeah. know. I'd be like, dude, what the fuck? Hey, what are you doing? Stop doing your thing at my thing, dude. Yeah, that's I'll take your that wrestling too. I was like, come on, man. That's weird. That's on, super man. fucking weird. Yeah, to be but, fair to him, he did fly from Canada to Dallas that night. He like wrestled first and then got there. And you're telling me you, you couldn't you have gotten changed on the yeah, yeah, what are you saying, Lemire? He didn't shower. You're you telling me he didn't normal clothes shower after WrestleMania. You're saying you would wear a fucking wrestling costume. Yeah, Shut the fuck off, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. it was, he wish he had a wrestling outfit on right now. Look at him. Believable how fun that yeah, was. Yeah, beach volleyball is the best. Then it slides into a was pig. Your, was your lady with you? She was there, but beach volleyball is the best time to fall in love with a girl on the other team. Yeah, true. Or on your team. It's true. so nice to I fall mean, in love with a girl. Yeah, man. Just hitting the ball, being like <laughs> 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 <It's> true. <laughs> it was mostly all dudes. Mostly all dudes. But I would agree. I could see oh, falling yeah. in love. I mean, I, I make connections. I fell in love once playing beach volleyball. Did you really? Yes. Then she gave me a head on a sailboat. Ooh. Damn. Yeah, it was pretty sick. Except there were a lot of bugs out at night. <laughs> and my legs got chewed up. <laughs> Worth it, dude. And I denied it. I was getting munched by flies. And oh. she was like, are you getting bit? I was like, no. Then I shined my light down to see it. And my legs were covered in bugs. That's got to be good Dang, blood, though. Sweet, though. It's got to be good blood. If you're flying, some guy's getting head, and his, his blood has all this weird <laughs> his chemicals. Blood, they're probably yeah. like, oh, my God, you better get down there. This guy's getting his dick sucked on a boat. This is great. They, they take a, like a drop of your blood, and they're like, woo. Right? I feel <laughs> fucking great right now. But, yeah, dude, it's beach volleyball. Slides into a nighttime pig roast. I mean, dude, this was, this was they didn't even start. It sounds awesome. The wedding was the next day. I get hit, and the whole time, we had the kids. So Brittany would leave, take the kids back. So old McCusker would hang out. We also brought a babysitter, which is clutch. Yeah. So we had someone there Damn, too. You a babysitter, a babysitter in the Cessna? Flew her, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Flew the babysitter. We did. That's it's, baller. You have to. Flying out the babysitter? It's such an indulgence. <laughs> it's such an indulgence, but I do it every time. That way we can have fun. Yeah, of course. You guys good? I'm fucking, I'm out. That's awesome. I was feeding seagulls on the beach, making fucking <laughs> s- creature storms. Dude, it was tight. You made some creature storms? <laughs> I took Maya down, dude. Me and Maya. You, ma- you so and your daughter made a creature seagulls, storm? Bro. It was so Fuck, fun. Fuck, that's very sweet. God, it was sick. But, dude, the wedding. This, I, dude, the wedding was truly a transformative moment for me personally. I always have personal transformations at weddings. Every wedding I go to, I just totally different. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> you I seem go, different. Thank you. Yeah, I can tell. Thank There's you. There's a dude. glow about you. Dude, I You so, witnessed love. I've been having. Yeah, true. It was. There was a very loving atmosphere. That, that I, I tap into that all the time at weddings. Mm-hmm. This was a truly loving atmosphere. I've been to weddings before. Where it's, I tapped into the loving atmosphere while I was on mushrooms. Did you? Yeah, it was very That's nice. nice. I started giving myself compliments. 
That's fucking it was, sick. It was crazy. Dude, I My girlfriend so- was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> the text you sent me. Wait, wait, what? Oh, I'll never I won't stop, stop loving, loving you. you, dude. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> At like nine p.m. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I won't stop loving you. <laughs> I was in the Cape, bro. You know how it is in the Cape. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I was I in the Cape, bro. I was laying, dude. I was laying in bed talking to my girlfriend, awesome. giving myself compliments. When did you get the text? Sunday night, right? I think so. Nice, I was at D and B, just like. <laughs> <laughs> dude i would i would forget i was on I, I would forget i was that fucked up and then you try to look at your phone you know when you're on mushrooms look at your phone screen, oh god like, yeah holy oh, shit yeah. dude it's the rick and morty portal dude you're fully just like <laughs> oh no uh yeah i was laying there complimenting myself it's awesome in like a nice way like i'm funny <laughs> That's such a nice thing. To, <laughs> I get to because everybody's gonna die, but I get to help. Like, like, <laughs> just while we're all together, I can make people feel a little better for a couple minutes. Like, yeah, just you had a peak experience. You had a peak experience. And I was like, and this is, and then even in mushrooms, I was like, I know this is pretty fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend was like, No, you're fine. I was like, <laughs> no, I, it's definitely gay. And I was like, If I stick my arm out, I can't even see my fingers. <laughs> How long were you? How long were you up for? Uh, did you crash or did you? I was up till like four a.m. Real, maybe uh, three, three or four. Damn, but so I was done. I, I stopped drinking. Yeah, 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 true, yeah. For hours, they'll keep you up, man. And yeah, I was just is. like, dude, that's that is nice. I've and got Adderall. We took Adderall before the game. Oh, boom! So I was destroyed. buzzing. Your uppers, downers, and sideways. Or <laughs> yeah, the Adderall broke me. I we were, I was standing up. I was standing up. That at was the, the game. force, dude. <laughs> yeah. I was, yeah I, know, I, just, <laughs> I was standing up in the game. <laughs> you would literally be like, <laughs> <laughs> I, was, <laughs> and you gotta see Harry. Harry's body is just like you're a funny looking guy. Yeah, yeah. And I mean that, you know, I'm funny compliment like, yeah, asset. But you're like you look like you I look looked, like Michael Sarah. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. It looked like a comedy character. Oh my god. Dude, Jesus, I took the Adderall so and I kept on looking over to Shane and going, this is the world. We'd been there for like 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and I kept ah. on going over to Shane and going, dude, this is the best I've ever felt in my entire life. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this is And Adderall. then like Adderall less than that. 10 minutes later, I'm like dry heaving, running up the steps at the Bills <laughs> Stadium. You know, like when a dog is about to puke. <laughs> yeah. That's what I looked like, dude. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> my oh, no. whole body. <laughs> Have you never <laughs> taken Adderall before? That was no, it was because I gave him a Zen. I gave him a six. No, I also oh, took a Zen. The no. nicotine will fuck can kill you you should become a nicotine shaman dude they have them in the amazon the bros were hitting me up for them the whole night they're like really? these are so good yeah i was like you should try lucy <laughs> just kicked in <laughs> promo code <drenched>. hey guys <laughs> <laughs> oh Fuck. man i'm so happy you had that experience dude they, uh, dude at the wedding the, the best part was so i'm at the wedding and so again Brittany has to leave put the kids to bed or help out and so i'm like all right i'll hold down the fort here so I'm at the wedding. I'm by myself. And then it's like, I'm sitting there, seeing the dance floor. And I'm like, truly everyone was deserted their tables. And everyone's packed. It, was, it wasn't a humongous wedding. But it was a decent size. So I'm standing there by myself. And all, now it's like social anxiety is on a thousand. I go, what the fuck? What am I going to do with myself now? What? Why? Well, I'm, I'm standing there. I'm like. Why were you just standing there? This is what I got to the crux of. So I'm sitting there. And I'm, I'm just sipping red wines all night. I'm smoking my vape pen. I'm like, dude, why don't? Because I was, I was, I wasn't going to hit the dance floor. I hit this, and I'm, I don't want to crash the, dance the vibe, floor, dude. I know, dude, I know, I do. And then, I, but I'm feeling, I have this weird feeling. It always get it all the time. And I go, I'm sitting there by myself, and I go, oh, I've accessed a deep subconscious strata of thought where I feel unwanted. That's where my social anxiety comes from. And I go, dude, same thing. I start talking nice to myself. I'm like, they'd love to have you out there on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> get out there. So I'm like, yeah, dude. I can have fun with everything. I go out. It was, it was a blast. I had fun. I sat there by myself and danced for like an hour until Brittany got there. And then she got there. I'm like, I'm so glad you're here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Wait, was that your wife? Yeah, Brittany, my wife. Oh, just the impression. I had a good. I cheated <laughs> you know, on my the wife. The impression was insane. No, it was me. Oh, I, I thought you. I, did, I ran to my wife and I was like, "So glad you're here." <laughs> no, blah, blah, blah. I was, was like, me. "Wait, what?" It was Dude, me. I ran to her. Extremely disrespectful. No, I thought you said. <laughs> I no, thought you were accusing me of Let's cheating on my here. wife and feeling better at the dance floor. <laughs> Have you put it on? Can't fit in this fucking. <laughs> he couldn't fit in this fucking thing. That's what I was wondering. Like, tried no, he's huge. Yeah. Yeah. This is like 
I could imagine you, you take it off. coming back to the hotel on mushrooms, throwing it on. <laughs> but yeah, dude, that was a transformative. That was fully transformative. It's wonderful. Just being like, it had a blast. And then she got there. Then it was a fucking bonfire on the beach at the end of it at 10 p.m. Oh, that's dude. awesome. See any great whites out there? I got no, a big, that was great white territory. Got that's big, shark, that's shark white time during that. Problem. What's that hat? That's Florida. Cape Coral. I thought Florida. I said Cape Cod. Yo, yeah. support Florida strong, dude. True. They got nailed by the hurricane. They got drilled by Ian. Florida strong. But yeah, dude, the uh, it was sick. It's sick as fuck, dude. It was so much fun. Woke up. This is rare. I know. This is a rare podcast where I we know, both returned. We had fun, just, dude. Just, man, great. So much fun. Shit's going well. It was unbelievably the funnest time. We're going to the Cape. I'm getting the boys to the Cape, dude. I'll go to the Cape. We must. You would to, love trying it, Trying to dude. take July off next year. Dude, you would fucking... get a nice time. You would love it, dude. I'd love to see the guys, too. They're down there, bro. That was another Seeing moment, Seeing gay dude. guys does make me very happy. There was a lot of gay dudes at the wedding. <laughs> dude, that was another thing. I was getting so in my head. I was also, too, I was like... They had a coffee bar there, so I was like smoking the vape pen, crushing wine, and I was like, ooh, the bonfire. So I started crushing coffee at like fucking like 8, yeah. 8 p.m., and I was up. And then the bride came around. There's a lot of gay dudes there at the wedding. So the bride came and was like, at towards the end, she was like, dude, we have to do the fucking flower toss. She like was kind of against. I think she was just kind of like this whole Did thing. She let the guys in? So she, I think, has kind of like a, oh, yeah, I have to do it. She got the boys up there to be a yeah, little we'll unconditional. Yeah, likes it now. So the only people who heeded the call were me and a bunch of gay guys. So we get up and I'm at, I'm with the boys, dude. And there's like one or two girls there. I'm with the boys and I'm like, I'm on my second marriage. You have boys. to catch this, dude. I'm like, I kept saying to the boys, I'm like, I'm on my second marriage, boys. I'm the third one's going to wear it. This is a fuck with them, dude. And they were like, they were cackling. And then it just launches overhead and the girl caught it. And we're all like, fuck. You got mossed by a girl? Yeah, dude. She, it, they, she, you remind sent me it. of Fitzpatrick trying to catch the ball against my dear friend Gabe Davis. <laughs> <laughs> she was ripping the flowers out of your hand. That was another, I, dude. I, I was, there were so many gay dudes there, and I was like watching them, and I was like, dude, these guys got crushed, dude. Got crushed. I was just watching, I could, in my head, I could see just the fucking level of just nonstop decades of bullying in their face, and I was just sitting on the edge of the dance floor, like, these fucking poor fellas, bro. Got fucking oh, he said, yeah. I was feeling for him. I was feeling for the boys. I was like, dude. These yeah, but guys, now they're having the time of their lives. Dude, they're they were. dancing. They're on boats I think with that's, each other. That was part of the thing. I'm like, I think they had a, a like a trial by fire where they've been completely just eviscerated. Yeah. And they were like, dude, you can't hurt me anymore. I'm going to dance as hard as I can on this dance There's floor. N- Meanwhile, I'm sitting there straight as hell being like, I don't think anybody wants me here. Yeah. <laughs> Deep down inside. But you got out and cut a rug. Got out. What type of moves were you doing? Bro, I was crip walking at one point. You crip walked? Yeah, I was crip walking. I had a feeling you might. I was crip walking. <laughs> I had a feeling you might crip walk. <laughs> I, I apologize. Nice walk. It was decent, bro. And but I the thing is I overdid it. I did it once. Everyone was like, yeah. And then I just kept crit walking. Then Brittany <laughs> grabbed me by the arm and was like, dude, stop. Uh, a couple of players caught me, Sass and Lamar, trying to do the gritty <laughs> in David Buster's. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, what a fuck. great time. Good times. Yeah. And how do you fun. feel? You're usually a anxious little guy. What do you mean? <laughs> how do you feel about the weekend? You have a nice time? Oh, I had a blast. And you, you did so well. On stage. Well, really? thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I, I thought Sass might suck. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I, did, I did Son of a Boy Dad. I said, those guys are funny as hell. Oh, they are. I that was the best funny. episode we've ever done. R- Dude. By no. a mile. I told you. I said, you're a comedy podcaster, bro. <laughs> I saw. I said, you're a fucking comedy podcaster. You're a comedy podcaster. You're a comedy, comedy genius. You've been tweeting <laughs> since you were sixth grade. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. I feel like ass right now. You still feel bad feel from the bad. weekend? Yes. Sweating profusely, actively. Dude, speaking of, the mushies hit me with the sweats when oh. I got back to the hotel. Full sweats. Yikes. It's crazy. Yeah, that's... When I hit the mirror, I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can't imagine looking in the mirror while on mushrooms. You should do it once. It's... I don't think I can handle it. I have it. the other half of that candy bar. I'm going to eat that in Las Vegas. That's pretty sick. And that's going to be a mistake. Yeah, true. It'll be funny. That's True. like going on a date. That's like the whole the whole city is Dave and Buster's. True. True. That's gonna fuck you up. Truly, Dave and Buster's city. With with the Cardi B's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Vegas. Sucks. You should invite Gabe. <laughs> you should invite Gabe Davis out. Dude, don't talk about my fucking bro like yeah, that. Don't tell dude. me what to do with his friend. Dude. Don't tell me what me and my best friends to do. <laughs> Whoa. We should switch to the Patreon. Yeah, let's switch over. Oh, we didn't read any fucking ads. We'll do. We'll do. So we'll do. uh, What should we call it? Yeah, we'll cut them in.
go join the Patreon, or I for real, I'm gonna come to your house with a weapon. Yo, seriously, it's about that time for us to start going to people's houses and committing assault. The Chinese Communist Party, dude, is coming and pulling people yeah, out, fishnet them. Oh yeah, <laughs> tossing a net on a guy in public. <laughs> Just a Poseidon dagger. Goodbye. Thank you, Buffalo Bills. <laughs> <laughs>